Federated States of Micronesia, or FSM, is an archipelago consisting of 607 islands divided into four states, located around 1,500 kilometers southeast of Guam in the North Pacific Ocean. Yap State lies at the west end of the archipelago and is home to around 11,000 people, with around two-thirds of them living on the main island, Yap proper. Here the main activities are farming, fishing and small-scale tourism. Yap's marine environment attracts many divers and the state is fortunate to retain many of its traditional customs and practices. All the states of FSM are feeling the impacts of climate change, including rising sea levels, increasing temperatures, and changing rainfall patterns. FSM also experiences extreme weather events, such as typhoons and droughts, which bring disruption and hardship to its residents. Most of the droughts experienced in Yap are a result of El Nino events. In particular, the 2016 El Nino episode, which affected 60 million people around the world, generated a 13-month-long drought in Yap. Portable water had to be shipped to the outer islands of Yap State. Surface streams ran dry and water rationing was in place for some parts of Yap proper. In 2016, the European Commission adopted a special measure to help countries respond to the severe El Nino event. In the North Pacific countries, this assistance was channeled through the Rennie project. In FSM, the Rennie project focuses on helping communities secure water resources ahead of drought. The Rennie project has installed additional water harvesting systems for five community buildings in Yap proper and in other outer islands of FSM. In Yap proper, the project has also assisted the water authorities to manage water demand before and during drought. More than 80% of households in Yap proper rely on water, which is pumped from underground water reserves and stored in tanks prior to being piped to houses and businesses. The remaining households use rainwater harvesting systems or source water from small streams many of which are intermittent and have no water in the dry season. At the request of Yap State Government, an investigation was conducted of the largest underground water reserve, the Gagil Tomil Aquifer. The objective of the study was to measure the capacity of the underground water reserve and assess the impact of water extraction during normal rainfall conditions and during drought. This information helps the water authorities operate and manage the water reserve. The investigations were carried out over a 12-month period, starting in May 2019, and included the installation of monitoring equipment to measure the underground water levels. The investigation coincided with the 10th most severe drought on record, which started in October 2019 and continued to the middle of 2020. This impacted the community in many different ways. We run out of water, uh, and, and this is uh, particularly true in Dubu. We have a, a water system for the, the small community, just uh, the villages of uh, mainly Vanu and part of Ri. Uh, and that uh, the capacity of that is uh, 10,000 gallon, and uh, we ran out of water. Then we lost uh, some crops and some weather and could not grow well and, and plants and a and, uh, lot, lot of uh, newly planted uh, pepper leaf uh, died mm. and a few other, few other things, yeah. So that was the, some of the adverse effects of the drought, yeah, obviously. The results of the 2019 technical investigations were shared with water authorities and other stakeholders in May 2020. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the meetings were held virtually rather than in person. 
The results showed that the water reserve is capable of meeting water needs during normal rainfall. However, continuous extraction of water during extended dry periods, such as the 2016 and 2020 droughts, causes significant stress to the underground reserve. The Gagal Tamil Groundwater Reserve is a very dynamic system. During periods of rain, the reserve recharges rapidly. However, during the ensuing dry days, the groundwater is rapidly discharged through the streams to the sea. The project gave us a better idea of how uh, drought and not only drought but overall rainfall on the island is very important for these aquifers and um, how available we have, how much water we have available uh, really depends on the rainfall and also our usage um, as we extract this water for public use. A memorandum of understanding has been put in place between the Yap State Partners and the Pacific Community to continue the monitoring and the data analysis. This will help the Yap Water Authorities balance the public's demand for water and the limitations of the underground water reserve in the months and years to come. Communities in Yap proper will be better prepared for the next drought.